As Marcus embarked on his journey as a newly appointed ranger in the expansive Ranthamur National Park in India, he was filled with a blend of excitement and determination. His arrival coincided with a surge in poaching activities, prompting the park to bolster its staff with additional rangers. Eager to make a difference, Marcus was keen to dive into the world of wildlife conservation. On his inaugural patrol, he absorbed valuable insights from a veteran ranger about the park's diverse ecosystem and the challenges it faced. Driven by his enthusiasm to explore further, Marcus ventured alone into the deeper parts of the park as dusk approached. The winding paths led him into the heart of the sanctuary, where he felt an increasing connection to the land he was sworn to protect. His exploration was abruptly interrupted when he noticed a slight rustle in the dense undergrowth. Approaching cautiously, his heart raced as he came face to face with a majestic tigress. Her vibrant golden coat shimmered in the fading sunlight, casting a spell of both awe and fear over him. The tigress's amber eyes held a mix of curiosity and caution as she observed Marcus from a distance. Despite the initial tension, Marcus felt a profound connection with the magnificent animal. This serene moment, however, was soon shattered by the tigress's evident distress. Marcus, sensing her unease, stealthily moved closer to investigate and was confronted with a heart-wrenching scene. In a secluded clearing lay the grim evidence of poaching, a sinister snare that had cruelly captured the tigress. Her roars of frustration and the sight of her struggling to free herself stirred a mix of anger and compassion in Marcus. As he contemplated his next steps, a small, endearing cub emerged from the underbrush, instinctively seeking comfort from its mother. In a moment of poignant urgency, the tigress, despite her pain, gently pushed her cub towards Marcus. This unexpected act of trust from the tigress overwhelmed him, crystallizing his resolve. Realizing the gravity of the situation, that both the mother and her cub were in dire need of his help, Marcus's initial hesitation transformed into decisive action, setting the stage for a daring rescue. From the tigress's side, his concern for the animals went beyond mere duty. It had become a personal mission. As the weeks passed, the tigress's condition slowly improved, with Marcus often seen by her side, quietly observing or gently stroking the cub providing the reassurance that both mother and child needed during this tumultuous time. The decision to remove the cub from the vicinity of its mother had initially weighed heavily on Marcus. Such an action could severely disturb the delicate balance of nature, a balance he was sworn to protect as a conservationist. His role was primarily to observe and ensure the safety of the wildlife, not to intervene in such a direct manner. Yet, the dire situation left him with no choice but to step in to save both lives. When Marcus first discovered the tigress caught in the poacher's trap, the fear of her lashing out in pain and confusion was palpable. Poachers, with their cruel traps, had inflicted immense suffering upon her, and the possibility of being mistaken for one was a legitimate fear for Marcus. The look of sheer desperation in the tigress's eyes however, spurred him into action, binding him to a silent vow to protect her and her cub. The task of disarming the poacher's trap was fraught with tension. Each moment was critical as Marcus worked with cautious precision to free the majestic animal. The tigress, perhaps understanding his intent to help, remained still, her eyes watching his every move, a silent communication of trust gradually forming between them. When he finally released the trap, allowing the tigress to stand, her injuries were visible, a grim testament to the brutality she had endured. Marcus wasted no time in contacting the park authorities, knowing that the tigress needed immediate medical attention. Upon their arrival, the medical team acted swiftly, sedating the tigress to transport her safely to the veterinary facility within Ranthamur National Park. There, under the watchful eyes of the dedicated team, they began the meticulous process of treating her wounds, which were aggravated by the infection from the rusted snare. Throughout the recovery process, 
Marcus ensured that the cub was always near its mother, understanding the comfort that her presence would bring to the cub, and vice versa. The medical team worked tirelessly, cleaning the wounds and administering a regimen of antibiotics to combat the infection. It was a battle against time to prevent the spread of infection and to facilitate a full recovery for the tigress. As days turned into weeks, the medical team and Marcus maintained a constant vigil over the tigress and her cub. Marcus's dedication to their well-being exemplified the profound bond that can form between humans and wildlife, a reminder of the responsibilities that come with conserving nature's magnificent creatures. Positioned a distance away, Marcus kept a vigilant watch over the tigress and her cub, hopeful for their recovery. Having played a pivotal role in her rescue, he felt a deep-seated responsibility towards her well-being. Every day, he made his way to the veterinary clinic, standing loyally by the side of the ailing tigress, as if his mere presence could somehow hasten her healing. Meanwhile, the dedicated medical staff worked tirelessly to provide the necessary care. The responsibility of caring for the tigress unexpectedly extended to looking after her young cub. This tiny, curious bundle of fur quickly became a regular companion to the ranger. Marcus named the cub Terra, a name symbolizing hope and resilience, reflecting the spirit of its recuperating mother. When Marcus had planned his trip to India, he was expecting an adventure, but the reality far exceeded his expectations. Having spent his entire career as a ranger in the wilds of Montana, he decided to mark his 45th birthday by stepping out of his comfort zone. Rather than sticking to the familiar trails, he packed his bags and set off for Ranthamore National Park. Accustomed to remarkable occurrences in nature, he was still unprepared for his new role as the human guardian of a wild tiger cub, an experience that seemed almost surreal. With the new responsibility of caring for the tiger cub, Marcus's daily routine underwent a significant transformation. His days were now devoted to ensuring Tara's well-being. Feeding her, keeping her safe, and providing the warmth and comfort she required. The recent encounter with the injured tigress only deepened Marcus's commitment to safeguard the park's residents from the lurking dangers. A fierce determination was evident in his eyes as he prepared to confront the poachers threatening Ranthamore National Park. As an experienced ranger, he knew that tracking these elusive criminals required patience, skill, and a profound understanding of the park's intricate ecosystem. Days melded into nights as Marcus and his team meticulously searched the dense foliage, analyzing clues left by the poachers, such as footprints, broken branches, and discarded tools. With each expedition, the ranger refined his tracking abilities, deciphering the forest's language as if it were a well-thumbed book. He recognized the subtle trails, the disturbed underbrush, and other signs of human intrusion. This environment was vastly different from the wilderness he had known in Montana, yet he felt strangely at home amid the lush vegetation of the Indian Park. As time passed, he began to recognize a pattern in the poachers' movements, inching closer to thwarting their malicious intentions and protecting the majestic creatures that called the park home. With his seasoned understanding of the wilderness, Marcus had developed an uncanny ability to anticipate the poachers' next maneuvers. Leveraging this insight, he joined forces with the park authorities to craft a tactical response aimed at thwarting the poachers' schemes. Together, they executed a series of night patrols within the park, with every ranger tuned to the slightest hint of irregular activity, their commitment to the cause as steely as ever. Marcus took the lead, acutely aware of the immense responsibility he bore to safeguard the park's diverse species. One fateful evening, under the cloak of darkness, Marcus detected subtle movements in the underbrush. Unaware they were being watched, the poachers continued their illicit endeavors. Marcus, with calculated precision, dispatched a series of silent commands to his team, positioning them strategically around the poachers. The atmosphere was charged with suspense as they closed in, orchestrating a well-timed ambush that took the poachers by surprise. 
Within moments, the poachers found themselves completely surrounded, outflanked, and at the mercy of Marcus and his adept squad. The encounter, though brief, was charged with intensity. With no room to maneuver, the poachers capitulated to the overwhelming presence of the rangers. Once they had secured the poachers, Marcus and his team escorted them to the park headquarters where they were promptly handed over to the authorities. Recognizing the gravity of the crimes committed, the authorities expedited the process of transferring the offenders into the judicial system to face the consequences of their actions. This marked a significant, albeit modest, triumph in the ongoing battle to preserve the integrity of Ranthamoor National Park. This victory not only neutralized an immediate threat but also reinforced Marcus's bond with Terra, a tiger cub he had grown particularly fond of. Now developing into a robust young tiger, Terra epitomized the success of dedicated conservation efforts. During this period, the medical team dedicated themselves to the rehabilitation of an ailing tigress, who began to show encouraging signs of recovery under their vigilant care. Marcus balanced his time between overseeing Terra's development and assisting in the recuperation of the tigress. As days melded into weeks, a renewed sense of hope ignited within the confines of the veterinary clinic, serving as a steadfast beacon against the trials they faced. The tigress eventually overcame her infection, a testament not only to her resilience but also to the unwavering support of the caretakers who had rallied around her. Ultimately, the time came for the reintegration of the tigress into her natural habitat. Marcus and his colleagues carefully selected a secluded section of the park for her release, where they could monitor her reacclimatization and facilitate a seamless transition back into the wild. This thoughtful approach underscored their commitment to ensuring the well-being and survival of the park's inhabitants in their rightful home. The team had devised a thoughtful strategy for reintroducing the tigress to the wild before reuniting her with her cub. They intended to release her first, allowing her several days or weeks to adjust to her new environment independently. This gradual approach was aimed at helping her ease back into her natural role without the immediate pressures of motherhood following her distressing captivity. In preparation for her release, the team chose a remote and untouched region within Ranthamore National Park. This area was ideal as it was well protected from poachers and rich in wildlife, providing the tigress with sufficient prey to sustain herself. As the release day approached, the atmosphere amongst the conservation team was one of hopeful anticipation. The ranger, who had been instrumental in the tigress's recovery, felt a deep sense of duty and was keenly aware of the importance of this moment. The selected spot for the release warmly welcomed the tigress back into the wild. Marcus, observing from a safe distance, allowed her the freedom to explore her new environment at her own pace. Transitioning from captivity back to the wild was a delicate process, and although the team was ready to intervene if necessary, they remained mostly hands-off, allowing the tigress to find her own way. With her innate elegance, the tigress quickly adapted to her newfound freedom and soon disappeared into the lush forest, bolstering the team's confidence in her survival. In the initial days post-release, the team monitored her closely, supplementing her diet to ensure she regained her strength. They observed as her natural hunting abilities began to resurface, with the tigress increasingly relying on the abundant prey within her territory. Over time, as weeks turned into months, she thrived in her restored independence. Encouraged by her remarkable recovery, Marcus recognized it was time to introduce the next step in her rehabilitation, reuniting her with her cub, Tara. Tara had been flourishing under Marcus's careful guidance, growing into a robust and energetic young tiger, truly embodying the spirit of the wild. After assessing the tigress's improved health and observing her confident movements, the team was assured she was now capable of surviving independently in the expansive wilderness of Ranthamore National Park and taking care of her offspring. The idea of reuniting mother and cub brought renewed excitement and joy to the team, 
although there lingered a slight concern that the tigress might reject Terra after spending months in the wild. Nonetheless, the team remained hopeful, given that Terra had maintained a close bond with her mother during her rehabilitation, and their interactions had always been affectionate. The location for the reunion was carefully selected to support this significant moment, ensuring a conducive environment for rekindling their maternal bond. The space where Marcus had witnessed this momentous reunion and subsequent encounters was carefully designed to allow the tigers to navigate and interact within their environment independently, fostering natural behaviors while under the protective gaze of conservation efforts. As Marcus stood at his discreet vantage point, his heart swelled with an overwhelming mix of emotions. The scene before him was like a painting come to life, where nature narrated its own poignant story. The initial cautious approach of the tigress towards Terra, her cub, soon gave way to a heartwarming scene of recognition and reunion. Terra, recognizing the scent and presence of her mother, bounded forward with a mixture of excitement and admiration that only a cub reunited with its mother could exhibit. The tigress responded with equal affection, gently nuzzling Terra, her rough tongue affectionately licking her cub's head as if to cover her with both love and reassurance. The embrace between mother and cub was a testament to the enduring bond that exists within the natural world, and as they retreated into the verdant depths of the forest, Marcus felt a profound sense of accomplishment washing over him. The journey that had begun with the tigress's desperate plea for help had now come full circle. Watching their figures disappear amidst the foliage, Marcus couldn't help but smile, touched by the reunion which served as a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of life within the park. The days that followed saw Marcus patrolling the area with a renewed sense of purpose and vigor. The threat of poaching had diminished, and a tranquil peace had settled over Ranthambore. However, the narrative was far from over. Just when Marcus believed he might never see the tigress and her cub again, they surprised him by repeatedly crossing his path during one of his regular patrols. Intrigued, he paused, waiting for them to emerge from the shadows. As he remained perfectly still, the subtle sound of rustling leaves captured his attention and he crouched down to observe as the tigress and her cub approached with deliberate intent. In an unexpectedly touching display of gratitude, the tigress, with her cub by her side, circled around Marcus in what appeared to be a ritualistic dance, a gesture that was both puzzling and profound. Recognizing the significance of this encounter, Marcus stayed motionless, allowing the tigress to establish a symbolic link between them. Then, in a moment that left Marcus awestruck, the tigress walked over to a nearby tree and purposefully pressed her large paw against the bark, leaving a noticeable mark. Although Marcus did not fully grasp the meaning of this act at the moment, he was deeply moved by it and felt an overwhelming sense of fulfillment as the tigress and her cub disappeared back into the forest. This remarkable event seemed surreal to Marcus, and the tree, now marked by the powerful paw print, stood as a silent testament to the connection that had been forged between him and the tigers he was sworn to protect. The paw print on the bark would forever remind Marcus of the profound bond that can exist between humans and wildlife, a bond based on respect, understanding, and mutual coexistence. In the days that followed a remarkable encounter, Marcus shared the story of his profound interaction with the tigress with his fellow rangers and the park authorities. This tale quickly became a symbol of the resilience of the park and the collective efforts to safeguard its natural treasures. Inspired by Marcus's vivid recounting, the park authorities decided to commemorate this unique human-animal bond in a special manner. A small plaque, bearing the impressions of both Marcus and the tigress, was carefully placed on a tree that had witnessed their encounter. This plaque served not only as a physical reminder of their extraordinary interaction but also as an emblem of the deep connections possible between humans and wildlife. The news of this symbolic union spread beyond the park, captivating wildlife enthusiasts, conservationists, and nature lovers from around the world. Initially, Marcus was humble about the attention his story garnered. 
However, he soon recognized the potential impact his experience could have on promoting the conservation of endangered species and the preservation of their habitats. Embracing his role as a conservation advocate, Marcus extended his outreach beyond the park, sharing the poignant story of the tigress and her cub. He emphasized the critical role everyone plays in maintaining the balance of our ecosystem. His story resonated deeply, sparking a newfound sense of responsibility and enthusiasm for conservation efforts among his audiences. As years flowed towards his retirement, Marcus decided to return to his home country. However, his commitment to wildlife conservation did not wane. He continued to work as a park ranger, passionately advocating for environmental protection and inspiring others to join the cause. With a renewed sense of purpose, Marcus was grateful for the opportunities that allowed him to explore new territories and deepen his understanding of the natural world. Although he had left the familiar landscapes of Montana, the mountains and forests he cherished remained vivid in his memory. His travels exposed him to diverse ecosystems and the rich cultural tapestries of different societies, enriching his life with a broader perspective. Back in Ranthamoor National Park, the trails of the tigress and her offspring continued to weave through the landscape, leaving behind traces on the trees that stood as silent witnesses to their interactions with Marcus. This ongoing relationship served as a lasting testament to the profound and enduring connections between humanity and the natural world. With a heart full of stories and lessons, Marcus knew his journey was far from complete. The world, with its vast wonders and mysteries, called to him, promising new adventures and uncertainties in the chapters ahead. He was filled with anticipation for the thrilling adventures that lay ahead. What an astonishing story. Who could have thought that stepping out of one's comfort zone could be so exhilarating? Can you imagine embarking on an adventure akin to that of Marcus? We'd love to hear your perspective and any similar experiences you might have had. Please share your thoughts and reactions in the comments section below. Keep an eye out for more inspiring tales coming your way.